Hi there, it's Shell and Clint. Hey guys, hope everyone's having a wonderful day. <laughs> so Clint is over here to my left, which you guys may have seen when I did my um, camera setup where he sits when I am filming. So uh, today, one of my friends suggested that she kind of wanted to see all the different uses for um, napkins <coughs> in a junk journal. And I thought, you know, that would be a kind of a fun, um, fun little series. So for this week, we are going to have a little series. And the first thing I'm going to do, I just picked some uh, napkins up that I wanted to use. And the first thing you want to do with your napkins is go ahead and take off that layer of white. Uh, in some cases, you might have two layers, but almost always have one unless there is, you know, somebody did a swap or something. Uh, mm. Could you hand me the trash can? Sorry. Clint's putting all the stuff over there. So I have to tell you guys, um, Clint spent hours this morning um, cutting up his fabric so he could make fabric ruffles to put back in the store. I think our last batch of ruffles sold in just like an hour or something. So he's going to make tons of those. He has this big rubber made full of fabric. So that's what he's doing in the background. Uh, the cats oh. are playing. What's wrong? I don't know. Something didn't sound wrong. Oh. The cats are playing, so if you can hear them in the way background, they're in the kitchen. And it's possible you may hear some thunder. Hmm. <laughs> kind of cool outside. We actually op got to open the door. It got down to 73 or something. So we try to always have the door open, you know, if it's cool enough. And if the rain kind of comes. I'm going to check this one just to see. Um, the best way to do this is just to grab a piece of tape. Yeah, see this one has two white pieces on it. And then just kind of use your tape. I'm using packing tape from this big old roll. So I just did it before I um, started talking to you guys. <laughs> so I'd be prepared. So Clint's having some issues with his thread or something. I don't know. I need to check that purple one because I really didn't think there was one another one on here. Let me check this purple one and just make sure that there wasn't two of them. I don't think there is though. And what I do is I just kind of go to a corner once you do one and then just kind of pull it and see that you can tell it wasn't more than one. And I do keep the white pieces, you can stamp on them or you can just use them, you know, as tissues or paper towels, whatever you want to do. I don't toss them until I'm done with my decoupaging. But that's what we're going to do today is just kind of decoupaging and kind of going through some of the items that, you know, we could decoupage to put into our uh, journals. So I pulled out some items that are maybe not you know all that familiar to you guys even though the decoupaging is really you know fairly simple I'm gonna use a matte finish Mod Podge however if you don't have Mod Podge and you have glue just add some water to your glue you know there's no sense in going out and buying some Mod Podge just for this though if you're looking for Mod Podge I know Dollar Tree has it I've seen it there and um, Home Depot also sells it I imagine like Walmart might sell it or something. I don't know. I don't know. You know, it's some place, some Walmarts you can go to, and they have this huge fabric and craft area, and, and then, then some of them have it's nothing. Like one shelf. You know, that's the way <laughs> yeah. ours is. Well, yeah. As far as, as far as we know, we haven't been in there for a year. The last time we was there, it wasn't. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, it's been a year since we've been in Walmart. Just over a year, actually. So We're seeing how long we can go without going. Okay. So, what I did, I didn't want tons of 
napkins even though I have you know but here's all the white pieces and like I said I keep those even for like tissues or whatever I don't know I just don't think I should throw them away okay so now <clears throat> we're gonna discuss some of the items that we could Mod Podge on you know um, and then I have some like later <coughs> in the week some really kind of um, kind of off the wall ideas I'm gonna try and just see you know what all we can do so I thought it'd be kind of a fun challenge just to see what all we can use napkins for so we're gonna try that but some things I was thinking about is you know you get those old scorecards things like that so what if we Mod Podge on a scorecard Oh, that's good. Yeah. And then, yeah, and they're thin. You know, a lot of people get mm. these and they, they don't know what to do with them. And I thought, you know, why not, you know, Mod Podge on it and make some journaling cards. So I have some Uno scorecards here. I have some Yahtzee. Uno? Yeah, we got Uno one time at a yard sale or something last week. I didn't even know you had scorecards. I didn't know that we did Uno. either. They did either. Isn't that weird? 1983. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and do two of each, and then we'll discuss what else we can do. And I thought since, you know, I've kind of been in that thing of, um, thing of, <laughs> let me move these. And move these guys. I don't know where to Of play. using, or building our stash, I may as well build our stash using some of, you know, napkins, things like that, doing some of that. So, I did get me a tiny brush. Here's my Mod Podge. I have some baker's paper or whatever that stuff's called. No, it's the white Parch stuff. Parchment paper. And, um, because I don't have wax paper, which is kind of odd. And my Mod Podge, I got me a paper towel and some water. And like I said, if you don't have Mod Podge, you can certainly get, um, just some water and you know like I think it's like Dry what glue. half and half yeah water and Elmer's glue or whatever you want to use I try to think of easier ways for people and if you actually look on the internet there's you know there's like the recipe or whatever for Mod Podge so I'm gonna just do these four cards and then we'll just kind of play but I went ahead and got a little um, paintbrush because it's so much easier and people have told me this over and over and I always forget to get it and but it's easier to kind of rip your napkin if you kind of wet around the edges first kind of the edges of your um, what you want to tear out so and then what I was thinking is what I would do is kind of Mod Podge this on the front and then come back and Mod Podge or not Mod Podge, I'm sorry, sew some, or glue some coffee dye paper on the back, maybe even sew around it or something. I think that would be kind of a neat idea. Oh, that would be, oh, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's just a really simple little thing to do, and I'm going to, my Mod Podge seemed a little thick, so I kind of add some water to it, but I don't want too much water because I don't want my paper, my paper's already kind of thin because it is these um, dinner scorecards. So I want to kind of be careful. Let me move this so my arm's not right in the camera. But yeah, I got to tell you guys about my sister, but I'm going to wait until the end of the video so that you guys don't, um, so you have something to look forward to. Oh, <laughs> told you about sis so my sister is so funny Clint was reminding me the other day so I have to tell I'll tell you this part um, we went to meet her for lunch one day and you know when you go into this into the um, restaurant this particular restaurant had uh, ketchup like in a glass bottle oh. And so sis grabbed the ketchup she was going to shake it before she um you know poured it out onto her plate well she didn't check the lid and so the lid came off and like this stream of ketchup went all 
over her. It was the funny, all over the wall behind her, and all we did was laugh. <laughs> That's all you can do. One time we were at Home Depot, and they had oh, this I forgot stupid about that. thing that says, don't touch it. Well, I don't think it said don't touch, oh, did it? With, I don't think well, it said it don't touch. Well, it did something, and then it this was, is like, oh, I wonder what, what this, this does. does. So she pulls it. Well, it's the stupid alarm. <laughs> and, I mean, it was just a, a, oh, God, it was so loud. I was thinking, really, sis? And I just stood there. She's, she was laughing at me. She's like, Shell just stood there writing her check, didn't even look up. <laughs> Of course not. She was embarrassed. I was like, I know what you were doing. <laughs> oh, it was just god It was like screeching, screeching loud alarm. Oh, it was horrible. Yeah. <laughs> and it had a rope on Yeah, it was like, no. She's just like, oh, I wonder what this is. <laughs> oh, she... I forgot about that. Oh, and then one time, this is really kind of embarrassing. You know, a lot of times when I'm with sis, things like this will happen, but uh, she was starting, she was going to locate in a different area than what we do. And so she stopped to go and ask this guy oh. or ask um, for directions. She wanted to know, you know, like where her area stopped and stuff. So she went to, <laughs> she went up to the door and she said and then all of a sudden she's kind of walking out and then she's kind of like hightailing it to the car and she's like we got to get out of here and i'm like what's wrong and she said when she looked in the door because she looked in the doorway you know this guy was in the bathroom on the toilet and was just looking at her with his hands like covering <laughs> stuff he didn't oh, want anyone Lord. to see and she's like there is no way i'm going back there <laughs> She said it was like you could just see right through to the bathroom and he's just sitting there with on the toilet. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't see that and that's what I told her. I'm so glad I didn't go in. <laughs> Things like that happen to us a lot. <laughs> Sis is a character. That's for sure. Yeah, she's so funny. But she's a blast. She really the is. latest was just hilarious. I'm like sending it to my friends saying you got to read this <laughs> uh, so that's the story of my sister <laughs> I'm sure there's other ones that will pop up because oh, we've yeah. her and I go on vacation sometimes when um, you know Clint can't really get away so sis sometimes doesn't want to go anywhere or no one can go with her and so she's like Michelle come with me on vacation so I do, and we get into things like that. The last one, well, one of the last ones, I should say, let's go to a different one, is, <clears throat> I forgot what I was going to say, sorry. Oh, we went camping because we didn't want to spend our money on, um, and neither one of us are campers. I don't know why we did that. Went camping, and we decided we we're going to get, you know, the food and stuff to uh, cook out because we wanted to have because we were just like sleeping there and then would go to the camp uh, showers or whatever and take a shower and then we would leave for the day and then come back to sleep and so we decided we're going to do the whole camping experience you know make the uh just spend all day in camp and just kind of have fun and do all this stuff and so yeah so we um I had tendonitis in my right arm at the time. I mean, and it was so bad I couldn't do anything. So we had to cut down our um, cut down some wood, you know, so we could start a fire. And neither one of us have ever really started a campfire. But you know, the night before we got like some brie. We were gonna have like a fancy breakfast, and we were gonna have some brie and just a really fancy time, you know. And we got stuff for s'mores and, you know, things like that. We were just all excited we're going to have this big camping experience. Three hours later, we finally got enough heat to make coffee. So then we decided, because we were going to, you know, camp or eat out, eat at the campfire, three, three meals or whatever. So 
the brie and stuff that we were going to eat for supper. We went ahead and had that for breakfast. We had our coffee. We ate our s'mores for dessert, and then we said, never mind, we're, <laughs> we're done with camping. <laughs> Didn't last very long. Yeah, and then we went on this crazy seven-mile hike or something and hurt so bad we couldn't even walk for the rest of the trip. Yeah, that's us. <laughs> but we have fun. That's amazing. That's the main thing. But we went to the Redwood Forest up in, um, to the Redwoods, the giant Redwoods up in California. near California, Oregon state line. Oh, it was so beautiful. It was wet and cool and it was just a beautiful trip. That was right after our, our mom died, so it was kind of a nice sister's getaway. This was just some kind of purple, might not turn, you know, work out that well, but it was just kind of some purple roses that I picked up at a thrift store. And they're kind of faint. I don't know really how they're working for, you know, decoupaging. Maybe they'll look better when it's all dry because I'm not too thrilled with it right now. That looks horrible. Well, but you got Well, right now. I mean, you got to give it a chance <laughs> to dry. But, but. Yeah, that I mean, looks it just awful. Doesn't, doesn't look, it doesn't pop, and it might no be because of the color and stuff. Except for right there. And you can kind of see that one, but. Well, maybe I can, like, layer I something else on it because yeah, I do I have, do like, this purple, purple and stuff, it. maybe. That's what I would do. Let's try that and see, but yeah, so anyways, I was talking to Sis the other day, and oh my gosh, she just cracked me up, and I gotta tell you guys, but you gotta wait till the end, because really, I have to read it from my messenger. I sent it to one of my friends, and she's like, is this a joke? And I said, nope. <laughs> Let's see, what else do I want to tell you guys? Got anything to tell the people, Daddy? Oh, no, right now I can't. Like I said, Clint's been working on... We did get a big order of ink blenders out. And then I think we have one that I need to call or email someone about. If theirs is ready. But he was hurting so bad he hasn't worked on any more. But he does have ten. Yep. That he'll probably get done tomorrow to stand, because so they, they just need to be tomorrow. sanded. So or sanding the day this shows, I guess. Yeah, sanding. This is Sunday. So. Sunday, yeah. <laughs> so some of you guys who we'll have, um, yeah, we'll be getting some messages, not calls. I'm not gonna call well, anyone. Well, no, but I do apologize. I tried doing it Saturday, the day we're filming, but. The she pain's just unreal, heard it. Yeah. and I really, I busted my butt all morning doing, like she said, I worked for probably five hours non-stop. And I slept. <laughs> and I'm paying the price for it, so, but I had to get stuff I done. I keep telling him, honey, you need to take a break. No, I gotta get it done, gotta get it done. Then he's like, I can't move. <laughs> but I'm still gonna get it done, though, even though I feel like crap. Sophia's still being needy today. Not the word I used for. Well, I think she's not getting enough love, enough attention from her I daddy. No. So she's here. She is right here. Don't drink that. No, Sophia. Sophia. Renee. Sophia. Sophia. No. So I'm doing chain ruffles. I'm just putting one in after the other. Yeah, so somebody was asking me what Clint does with all his fabric. And that's what he's doing right now is just um, ruffles. ruffles. That's all so. I'm doing is ruffles. Well, I made some, you know, I did the video with the blue fabric, the, what do you call those, the flip thing? Fabric flips. Oh, honey girl. Uh, so I was oh, uh, no. finishing those. <laughs> that sucks. That's okay, I saved it. So yeah, I, w I went and worked on those, 
Yeah, so he's, yeah, the one from yesterday, I guess, which would have been Friday. Yeah. But, was, yeah, he's, and he's going to make supper tonight, so. Well, that's not a big deal, but That's then good. He's was, just making chili, so. Then I did Lisa's, I haven't weeded Lisa's, uh, <laughs> I was informed, I asked Lisa how she wanted me to fluff her thing, her, her uh, um, cover up, her chenille cover, and she said, well, duh, weed eating. <laughs> I said, oh, okay. So I went around it at a quarter inch around them before, twice, so that would help. Yeah. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. I'm going to definitely show that I'm going to record me doing that. So. Yeah, for I those people two. who haven't watched that video. So, it was quite humorous. Yes, but so, yeah, yeah, Sophia is just needing some loving, and I don't know I think. if we're not paying enough attention to her. But we've kind of been doing more, you know, crafty things when we're home, and that might be the issue. I don't know either. But boy, she was helping Daddy this morning. <laughs> oh, she's got me freaking nuts. Uh, him, her and Cubby both were like, yeah, Daddy, we need loving. They were just <laughs> over. So with these um, napkins, like this one, I just didn't feel like it had enough color. So now I'm just going to add more color. I don't... Oops. I don't think it's really, you know, necessary. I mean, you can do however much. You can add as many layers. I think it just looks more awesome the more layers you add. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. So let's. So now I'm just kind of just adding some layers huh. of other um, napkin and stuff, just to kind of. Do it in the background. Okay. Uh -oh. So now I'm going to let that dry. And then let's move on to. So we used our scorecards. Uh, let's see what else I pulled out. I pulled out these. Um, these are like some weather records from, I think it was a naval, was it Navy or Army? I think it might have been know, Army. I Anyways, I got it a few years ago, a couple of years ago, and I got like a thousand of these cards, and so I will be putting some of these in my, in my um, Etsy because I have so many of them. So, we're going to go ahead and do up some of those because I think that would be kind of fun. And the backs are already, you know, already kind of yellowed and stuff. But if you have, like, library cards or something like that, you could do that, too. So, let's go ahead and do these. Now, I think for this one, I don't know. Yes. I don't know. There's stuff wrapped around like a stupid needle. Look at that. Huh. Interesting. So, these are from 1963, December 1963. And, you know, it says what time the sun rose, sunset, rise, um, the temperature. One of them I read and it said uh, the hair, what did it say? Something about the rabbits, like the hair. Yeah. The, the hair for the rabbit is thick this time of year. So we're expecting like a, a cold winter or something. It was really funny. So I think I'm just gonna put like some lighter colors on here, just so that kind of, you know, peeks through. I'm just gonna kind of do squares, actually. Let's just do it like this, and what I'll do is just cover these with Mod Podge, and then just kind of. Some of them are written in. Um, what am I thinking? Pencil. So you wouldn't want to do this probably if it has pencil on it. No, because it probably more than likely would take Yeah, it would. Um, yeah. 
but I was thinking I kind of wanted a lighter one on this just so I can and then I'm just going to fold them down like that that way I can um, see the writing you know I thought that'd be kind of fun so let's do that so that's another way just any you know thing that you think oh it's kind of plain how you know what am I going to do how am I going to use this in my journal think about putting some Mod Podge over it I don't know what that pink is from probably from your napkin huh? oh well, I don't, I don't know purple oh maybe it was I think it is for itty bitty Oh. Clint's itty bitty bubba is still in the bedroom taking a nap. So he'll cry in a little bit and tell daddy, I'm ready. I'm ready for you, daddy. Sophia's still sitting yeah, beside you guys. But I was one of the reasons I got this idea was like over you know just kind of simple things is Miss Gail she was doing a like clean your stash type thing and I got an idea by watching that so it wasn't oh it wasn't no, people, still sleeping the floor, just, <laughs> right they're like we're still sleeping daddy <laughs> Todd will take a nap with me, but not when the air conditioner's on, so I, it was pretty chilly in there, so I turned it off so he could stay in there. Yeah, the way it was. I think there was like some um, paint or something still on my paintbrush. Uh, also, you don't want to use a good paintbrush for this, so if you're not familiar with Mod Podge and stuff like that, you want to use a, you know, kind of an old one and maybe just mark it for Mod Podge because the glue you know will mess up a really good one so I'm gonna set that aside to dry that's kind of cool okay I'm kind of layering them real lightly over here to the <laughs> so I hope it works we'll see okay what else did I have I had a couple more items where did I move them to oh here they are Oops. Okay, so I had another kind of um, thing. Game card. This one is from the game Split. Just a game I had. It's a fairly new game. But two, I thought it would be kind of fun to do like a collage. And, you know, that's another thing. Just go ahead and start your game or your collage with napkins. So you can always come back and you know do something with your um you know add to your napkin so mm. how's the beans did you check we put beans on so clint can put them in his chili i haven't heard them I was just curious oh, how long it was it had been if they were done we do a bunch of beans you know just fresh well dried <laughs> fresh dried sometimes we'll buy the ones in the can but I know no one really cares but you know <laughs> okay so let's go ahead and do that let's go ahead and do this one Clint's fighting with his sewing machine not having any luck, baby. No. Hmm. I'm just kind of doing like, you know, um, square. I'm not going to worry too much about it being, because I'm going to trim around it so it doesn't have to be perfect or anything like that. And I don't think these will take all that long to dry. It's pretty dry here. So. And then maybe I'll have something like come off the edge right here. So let me see. 
I do have like a fun little dragonfly. So have you guys heard that they're trying to get Halloween switched from the 31st of October to the last Saturday of October? And what do you guys think of that? I have to admit, I am against it because my birthday is on Halloween and you know all of us have went through that and like somebody said you know it's what is it the living dead or whatever is what they're celebrating so really you're not changing the mm. yeah the meaning of it or the you know it's supposed to follow something else or something I don't know but I don't agree with that you know even though I could say you know my birthday was back when Halloween was a set date. Yeah. <laughs> Kathy, what do you think? <laughs> Kathy's my birthday twin. <laughs> well, and then they said, like, well, you know, I think they're, they're arguing it would be safer, but why would it be safer? Because you think about it, if it's on a Saturday, wouldn't there be more drunks out? Well, possibly, yeah. You know, I, mean, I mean, well, and they've always just said, okay, well, hey, you know, it's on Monday or whatever. We're going to celebrate it on Saturday. So it's not that big of a deal, I don't think. You know, I mean, just plan your party different. That's my thought. <laughs> but, I mean, I think there's a lot of reasons it shouldn't be. It's not like they can change, you know. I mean, Thanksgiving's always on the third, um, is it the third Thursday or whatever? And they haven't tried to get that for Saturday, Saturday. because it's a family get-together. And people are thinking, oh, heck, no, I don't want to spend all weekend with my family. <laughs> That's what I think. <laughs> oh, I love my family, so if you guys are watching, love you. <laughs> okay, so now this is actually the idea I got from Miss Gail, so... If you guys haven't seen that but what she did and I thought this was a brilliant idea is look at these postcards you know I when I first started making junk journals I was like grabbing all the postcards I could get it didn't matter what they look like anything like that nowadays I'm much more um, careful choosy you know things like that because I have so much stuff but these are kind of bland so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and decoupage on top of them. And she she was went through like her stash and she's like, oh, you know, I have these. And she said, what? it was just a comment she made. And I thought, ooh, that's a great idea because I have so many of these. I mean, look at these. We're going to do four of them just to kind of mess around and see what we can find. But I mean, you know, I don't want to put that in someone's junk journal. And if it's writing on the back or you don't like the writing, you know, go ahead and put coffee dyed paper. Otherwise, just they can write on the back of it. So, that's where I kind of got the idea for the, because you can also do this on green, or cards, greeting cards, whatever you want to do. But that's what I was thinking. And then that got me to thinking about, you know, everything else that we could do. And that's not the only thing in this brain. <laughs> <laughs> Hush, okay. Daddy. I am just. <laughs> can I do my stuff? Clint's like, I am not even going to say a word. No, I will. I will, but. Okay, this one's kind of dry. So that's cool. And I didn't go over the top of it. But I probably ought to. I'm going to go over the top of it real quick. Just to kind of seal it down. See all that purple in my brush? I didn't even know. But I think I'm going to do those the same way. Just kind of turn them, you know, put Mod Podge all over them and flip them upside down. That worked really well. I may need to go grab another napkin. So I'm not going to put, you know, like a huge layer of Mod Podge. So really that's all this one is, is just showing you what, you know, some of the things, 
possibilities that you could Mod Podge on top of, maybe that you haven't thought about Mod Podging, you know, just to add another layer of cuteness. Maybe you have all those napkins and you're thinking, what am I going to do? Or just some boring things that you picked up, like me, and you're like, man, why did I buy, you know, a thousand of these cards? <laughs> It seriously did because we went to a my sister and I went to an antique store and they had this huge thing of these cards and I love them because they're from the 1960s and I thought that was really cool but then what am I gonna do with them huh so when we it was in Arizona we went to oh, California to see Miku but my sister's hilarious uh, yeah. When I start on the next one, I'll tell you a story. I gotta grab my iPad so I can read it to you because it was so funny. I told her I was gonna share with you guys, so that's okay. She, di she didn't care. <laughs> sister, sister. Okay, let me go grab another napkin. I think I want one that's a little bit lighter than this so you can kind of still see the picture and my iPad so I can read you that story. Okay, and we're back. Sophia's still here, hanging around. I don't think I better Mod Podge with, with her tail here. Uh-oh. You got glue on your tail, honey. But it was pretty clean, so I think it's okay. It just kind of stuck to her tail a little bit. <laughs> uh, so I ended up getting this one. We'll see how it works. But I thought since there's kind of like a little direction, and I can make a mess here. There's your Bubba. Huh? Okay. <laughs> no, Bubba. Stay over there. Honey. I don't want you all gluey, honey. They're starting to move around. They're like, you, we haven't uh, paid that much attention. You haven't paid attention to us, Mama, Daddy. Oh, I got a crap load done already. Oh, good had a lot of people asking us for fabric ruffles, so it's a good thing. I have hair on them because Cubby's laying in the middle of them. We so. try to clean them, though, for you guys, if we can. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is just kind of put some Mod Podge on each of these. I think it's really easy if you can do that. You know, it just goes so much easier. And you can use a glue stick. What I'm doing now is just kind of seeing the orientation and then just putting it, you know, in the right orientation. That's or the way I want it to be, I guess. Probably not a right or a wrong way, but like this one, I think the roses would be really pretty on this. But you can use a glue stick. Uh, Rachel at Roxy Creations uses a glue stick. And, of yeah, instead of Mod Podge. And then she, I, she doesn't go over the front either, I don't think. So that's kind of would be a fun way to do it, you know. It's starting to get hot again. We opened the door because it got down so low, but it's kind of. Um, warming up outside it looks like it's not too bad as long as the winds blow and it's not horrible but and the house we live in is really old so it has perfect like cross ventilation if the windows are open it's really nice in fact for probably the first probably 15 years we lived here we didn't we only had fans we didn't have an air conditioner so we're either getting older or <laughs> Huh. Yeah. Or it's what global warming. Come on. I don't know if we're gonna be able to see anything in this. <laughs> Can't see my photo. Here it comes. It's coming alive now. There we go. Maybe I didn't choose the right <laughs> napkin. It doesn't really matter. I mean, you can still use them even if it's not perfect. You know.
I mean, just, you know, just, especially if there's like a picture or something you really dislike, just cover it up. Why not, huh? <laughs> not going to see anything in this, these. Live and learn, though. Live and learn. <laughs> Clint's having issues. What happened? I don't know. I didn't get my shelving unit put up, so I was going to do that today, but I just didn't have any energy, and Clint needed to rest, and so I'll probably do that tomorrow, and I need to get things organized and cleaned out, because my giveaway, if you guys haven't joined our giveaway yet, it is um, coming up really quickly. Wednesday. Yeah, you have until the 31st to go to the link below, it says 44000 subscriber giveaway to enter you have to make a comment on that um, video to be entered so I'm gonna finish this and then I'm gonna read you my sister's text that was so funny Okay. so I'm probably goofed on choosing this <laughs> this napkin we're gonna make it work though right it was too thick. I think I needed one that had maybe more open spaces. So, like that purple one or maybe, you know, something similar. More white, because that white kind of blends in. So, let's finish this up. Okay. Okay, so let me kind of clean this up real quick and see where I'm going to put this right here. Stay. And kind of wipe this up real quick and I'm going to read you guys my sister's story. But Clint and I were watching a video and I kept getting a text from my sister and she doesn't text me a lot. And she lives really close to us. She lives down in Cortez, so about 25 miles or so. And I kept getting a text, and then I get another one, then I get another one. So I paused my video I was watching, and <laughs> I'm so glad I did. It was so funny. Okay, so let me grab my iPad, <clears throat> and I'm going to tell you. Okay, so I'm... Um, the first thing you guys have to know is my sister likes to pet sit. So she was pet sitting for some friends. And they have two dogs. And one of them likes to run off with stuff. So, um, yeah, so she, oh, and the owners like her to stay there, you know, when they're, um, yeah, the owners like to stay there when they're... <laughs> want her to stay. When she's... Yeah, they want her to stay there with the owners. Let me go back to hers, because I forwarded it to a couple of people, but it's not coming in very well. Um, let's see. Maybe this is it right here. Okay. So, yeah, so she's out there. Oh, and they did tell her that there was a... Um, they did tell her that there was a bear in the vicinity and for her to be be on alert. So, that's kind of the setting of the story. <laughs> True story. Okay, so she writes me and she's like, I hate the wilderness. She said, I'm told there's a visiting bear. So, I'm always looking for that. I find bear poop with hooves in it from a baby deer. So, today, I'm looking around for him while I'm watering the flowers by the pond. They just built for goldfish and I feel something on my foot. It's a freaking snake on my foot. So I kick it off as I'm screaming and I run away. So I come into the house to calm down and I almost step on a squirrel in the house. So I'm freaking out trying to see if it was still breathing. And the dog is laying about a foot away from it. She gets up and there's a freaking second squirrel in the house. So Hazel is on the video phone with me turning purple from laughter as I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to get two buckets to cover them and figure out my story to tell the doggy owners. 
So the dogs must have brought in two squirrels and then felt bad. So uh, I covered them with buckets. I would have never just left them dead in your living room. They aren't going to believe that. <laughs> so I grab a shovel and I scoop them up while Hazel's still laughing at me. And I take them outside and throw them. But it's hard to throw them with a shovel. So they only went like three feet. So now the snake is going to eat the dead squirrels. The bear is going to eat the snake. And then I'm going to have to lay there and wonder what part of this saga we are at as I'm trying to sleep. It was traumatic. I got out a flashlight and <laughs> looked on all the furniture and under covers and under my pillow just in case they left me a third present. And I told her, I'm totally not laughing. And I was dying. I couldn't even catch my breath. <clears throat> she said, and I was thinking on the way there this afternoon that it was start that I was starting to like the wilderness. Screw that, I'm going home. <laughs> you are so laughing. I really thought Hazel was going to die from lack of air. She's laughing so hard. Oh, so when I went out to get the shovel, I turned the phone around so she could watch the squirrels if they crawled away so she could tell me which way they went. It's not funny. Quit laughing. I almost grabbed it, too, when I first saw it, thinking it was one of their stuffies. Thank God I didn't do that. Hazel would have had to call 911. <laughs> okay, i got to go back go look around the house to make sure there aren't any more vi visitors so she says now I think I see blood on the carpet do I draw <laughs> oh. a chalk line for the owner so they know there was a massacre in here or just let them wonder <laughs> I said like a little squirrel outline <laughs> she said yes two little chalk bodies <laughs> I had them both on the shovel at once. The first one kept knocking the second one off. It was hell. I still think I should have found two buckets. And then she says, great, now I can't find my glasses case. Last time I sat for them, when she met me in town to pay me, she brought a grocery bag full of stuff that Mallory had taken and hidden all over the house. She said, true story. So now I'm outside in the rain with a flashlight <laughs> trying to think like a dog. If I was a dog, I would take Crystal's eyeglass case and put it here. But if it had rained two hours earlier, then I wouldn't be in this predicament. I wouldn't have had to water the flowers, which means I wouldn't have been scared by the snake, and then the dead squirrels in the house wouldn't have made me so jumpy. And I would have been able to look for my case much earlier without needing a flashlight. And maybe I could have found them, but no. Now I have to tell the owners, Hey, so if you find a glass case lying around, can you bring it to me? along with three socks and an undershirt. Thanks. <laughs> that was just one night there. <laughs> oh, she cracks me up. Oh, yeah, so that was a true story. I told my friend, you know, she could totally sell stories. I mean, she tells the greatest story. And I have no doubt that she was right in the middle of that. And... Yeah, she just cracks me up. I told her I was telling my YouTube family about it. Oh, but man, it was so funny. But I could just hear her, like, over the phone tell me that story. <laughs> Clint and I were just laughing. She is a nut. <laughs> she is a nut. Such a nut. Sorry, sis, if you're watching. She watches my channel sometimes, but not all the time. Uh, she said, she says I talk too much. <laughs> what? She said my ch my uh, videos are too long. <laughs> I mean, what does she expect? I'm the rambling crafter. Hello. It's not like you're gonna come on my channel and bam bam I'm done because if I'm a, if my channel name's a rambling crafter, obviously I'm gonna jabber. So, anyways, that was my, I guess that was our Thursday, Thursday adventure? Yeah. because yeah, today's Saturday. Yeah. yeah. So, man, it was so funny. I was just dying laughing. So, the next day I said, so, how you doing? <laughs> but she said every time she goes out there, because they don't have good um, internet service, and so she's not sure that, you know, she'll get a good phone or... Maybe it's cell phone service. Yeah. 
but she wasn't sure she could, you know, write us or anything. But she can write or be on the phone better than she can, like, on a phone call. <coughs> but anyway, she was, <coughs> she tries to get me to go out there and pet sit with her, but I haven't went. Oh, but I can totally see that happening. <laughs> Yeah, so that's my sister. I told you guys my whole family's nuts. Yeah. Good thing I'm normal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, anyways, how are you guys' day going? So now what I'm going to do is just go ahead and trim these. And then we may come back later and kind of, um, you know, I'll show you how I'm going to maybe decorate these to put them into my journal. Or what? Uh, Beans? Or, um, you know, of course, you don't have to go any further. You can just leave them like this to put in your journals, but I think it'd be kind of fun maybe to do some um, sewing around it. Definitely need to, like, strengthen these. These are really, um, they kind of feel cool though, they kind of feel like a leather. So, they're kind of cool, but, how many? Two. Two. So, Clint went to check on our beans. But, man, we were, I was cracking up at her story. I'm like, oh my gosh, I got to tell my girls that, or my, my people that. So, if there's any men watching this channel besides Clint, leave us a note. Let us know if you tried out the weed eater. Um, technique. <laughs> so we, when we went yard selling yesterday, Clint's like, I wonder if I can find a weed eater. He's got an idea. I so got me an idea. We'll have to keep, keep an eye out for that. You guys know he'll share with you if he comes across one. He is so, yeah. But I am doing leases. Uh, yeah, leases covers are going to be done, you know, with the Sunday, weed eater. So. And so that might be probably Monday's video or something, or maybe just a share in the middle of the day or something. Yeah. Depending on how long it is, but it probably won't be that long. But he has some ideas of how to keep keep the um, the covers down while he's weed eating and stuff like that. So I lost one of these. I should have four of them. I only have. Oh no, I have four. Never mind. I just can't count. <laughs> So yeah, that was, uh, but we had a fun, we've had a fun weekend. I think my apricots are just about done, so we may be picking those in the morning. I'm going to go, you know, out and look at them and make sure, but I'm so ready for apricot jelly and all that good stuff. It's done. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. So, and you know, I want to know if you guys, what you have found to decoupage for junk journals. You know, I've seen where they've done like, um, I mean, envelopes, things like that. I have some other ideas I was going to mention them, but I don't want to mention them. I think I'd rather show you guys. So this one's still a little bit wet. So anyways, this is one way, you know, that I found to use. That's not too bad. You know, you can kind of still see the picture in the background. But this is one way we've found to use um, the napkins. And I would love to hear, you know, a way that you have or maybe a suggestion that you want me to try. Like I said, I do still have some ideas, and I'd be happy to try some stuff. Uh, I also have another kind of series in the works that somebody else had suggested, so that'll be kind of a fun one too. And maybe I'll do that after this one. This one I think I'm just going to call like um, Napkins in Junk Journals. Sorry, can you guys hear that? just our um, pressure cooker letting off steam 
So I think I'm going to go ahead and end this now. Because otherwise you're just going to watch me go ahead and trim these up. But I think they turned out kind of fun. I mean, just the different ways to use up some napkins, you know. I think it's kind of interesting. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure and come back tomorrow for our next episode of How to Use Napkins in Junk Journals. Give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out our channel. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We are putting up videos daily. So thank you guys so much for watching. And we will see you guys in the next video. See you soon. Bye. Bye, everyone.